it's time to go to school. I don't. When you only got 15 minutes and you look <sighs> stressed. We have to hurry up and get our hair nice and neat because we have to impress everybody at school even though we only have to impress ourselves and our teachers with our grades. So that was basically like what... Actually, you know what? I can't explain that intro. Like I... I can't. Today we're only going to be using a few products because um... <laughs> We're poor. Going back to school is honestly so ridiculously expensive, especially if you're going to college because then you have to get dorm room stuff, you have to get all these books, you have to pay tuition. But even if you're just going back to middle school or high school, it's still pretty expensive. Honestly, like only Jojo Siwa or like any of the little girls from Dance Moms could afford to actually go to school. So there's hope. <laughs> oh my God, this just in. I just found out that Jojo Siwa is a little girl from Dance Moms. I'm scared and the world is ending. It should be illegal. But anyway, let's go ahead and look at the products that we need for today. Now, I know I said in my last video that I was not going to be using... Oh, you can't even see it. Now, I know I said in my last video that these two products really don't work together. Well, they kind of do, but they kind of don't. <laughs> Let me explain. Now, the first time I said I used this, it did flake up on me. And I know you still can't see the products, but I don't care at this point. But I put the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner from Shea Moisture on my hair first. And then I went in with this... Wetline Extreme Gel, which is my new fave, and it just flaked up on my hair. Forecast said two inches of snow, like for real, for real. Now that's definitely not the look, you know what I mean? You don't want to go to school with a bunch of flakes in your hair. But okay, what I didn't mention in that video was that this only like flaked up after like four days. So I put this on my hair and then four days later, it was just kind of gross. But for those four days, everything was good in the neighborhood. So because I'm not going to keep this hairstyle in my hair for more than like three days, this is what I'm going to be using today. And it's so funny because I saw somebody in the comments say the same exact thing where they use this and this together and it flipped up but after three days so i don't know what that's about but yeah let's get started okay so we're going to switch it up actually um because i have these products oh oh my god okay so i have these products right and they're from the ashley taylor collection and i forgot that i had these so cute for back to school do you see that oh my god but there's a few products here and there's some in the refrigerator oh my god what Two of them actually had to be refrigerated because they're like pretty fresh and so they need to like, you know, stay refrigerated. So we have those over here. We have the Marshmallow Detangler. We have this um, Milk Tea Shampoo, which sounds honestly so good. This is Tropical Mango something. I don't know exactly what it is. It just says Tropical Mango. Oh my God, let me smell it. Oh my God, that smells so good. I don't know what it is. I'm just gonna assume that you can use it in your hair. And then there's the Shea Smoothie, which definitely you can use in your hair. And I'm, this might be a deep conditioner. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what this is. I'll have to look on her website. There's this product called Magic Potion. This is carrot oil. I'm sure this is like a combination of oils. And then here is the Fenugreek Growth Oil. So I'm probably just gonna use these products today instead of the Jamaican Black Castor Oil because, um, cause I don't wanna. Cause I don't, I don't want to get flakes. Pointing any blame at you, it's my fault.
okay? Back like me to Spotify every two months to get another free subscription. Like me at the food court in the mall when you get a free sample and then you eat it and it tastes so good that you want another one. So you walk into a Hot Topic that's like maybe a minute away. You pretend to look at Skull Belt for like five minutes and then you walk back out and get another free sample. <laughs> Anyway, I have these fresh, lovely pigtails. I have this nice straight part going all the way down, straight to the back. And it's time to get started. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started. <laughs> Today I will be using this Shea Smoothie from the Ashley Taylor collection. I went ahead and looked online and it's apparently just something that you put in your hair. It's really soft and like well whipped. Okay, let's get started. What I like to do, especially if I'm rushing, is just do it, okay? So just like unravel it, boom, and just hurry. You know what I mean? Because you only have like 15 minutes usually because you wake up late every single day to go to school. Or at least I did. I hated waking up early. That was the one thing that I really, really hated about school. Waking up before the freaking sun is up, that's crazy. I feel like that has to be like illegal or like just not right. Like biologically like your body being up before this like who does that Ugh, i'm triggered anyway i'm gonna take a little bit of this okay i'm gonna work in sections i'm just gonna take a little section here let's take a little scoop mm-hmm Ooh, i like this it's very like yogurty the consistency is yogurty kind of like a gogurt <laughs> 90s vibes am i right am i right guys Am I right? Somebody tell me. This is really dope to be honest. So let's just do that, you know what I mean? Actually, I don't know why I did this. I usually start from the back and go up to the front because when I... Okay, I think I just witnessed... I think I just witnessed a dog fight. I'm not sure who to call. Anyway, like I was saying, I usually start from the back and then I move my way forward because if I start in the front, then I just have a whole bunch of hair in my face. So I think I'm actually just gonna like pretend like we never did that. Let's just go to the back. This is so much fun, y'all. This is like a get ready with me. Get ready with me to go to school. So much fun we're having, right? Are you having fun? Ooh, yes, moisture, come through. Okay, yes, again, this is the Ashley Taylor collection. Ashley oh, herself so. sent this to me. And fun fact, and fun fact, some of the proceeds from the actual collection go to help foster children in some of their experiences in foster care. So, like, really check it out, y'all. Ooh, yeah. Let's keep it going. Next, we're gonna go in with this extreme gel. This extreme wet line gel. Wet line extreme, I would never get that right. Ugh. Take a little bit of that and let's watch this magic happen before our eyes. Oh my god, it's just so defined and so beautiful. Now obviously if you're in a rush, you don't have to do such small sections. You can just do like a big chunk of hair and just throw all of the product on there real quick. It honestly comes out to the same result. Okay, now that I'm doing this, I'm getting a little bit of like PTSD from uh, the first time that I went to high school. The first time, I didn't go a second time, just, just to clarify. But I've had so many weird experiences in school. But funny enough, I actually, okay, this is real tea on Willow and Wim right now. In high school, I actually had a YouTube channel, like a whole other YouTube channel, and it still exists out there. I don't know if anybody's ever found it, but like literally nobody watched me, and I didn't do hair videos or anything. I just did like random videos where I was just like, it would be like small skits and stuff. But I had a whole other YouTube channel. And then my freaking high school found out about it. Like a few of my friends found out that I had this YouTube channel and they showed all my teachers. And literally, oh my God, there's this like ceremony at the end of the year to celebrate the seniors as they go off to like be not seniors anymore and graduate. And at the ceremony, they played one of my freaking YouTube videos. And I was so embarrassed. I was literally so embarrassed. Oh my God, I'm just like, Ew, I'm triggering myself back into that moment. It was so embarrassing, but everybody was laughing, so I just was like, uh -huh, yes. But it honestly was so freaking embarrassing. Okay, so there are very few moments that I remember in high school because all of it was a blur, to be honest. You know how, like, you know you're about to go through something very traumatic, so you just build up a bunch of walls and pretend like none of it's happening? That was my high school experience. So honestly, I don't remember much of my, like, social life in high school, but I do remember this one time, I thought I was so hot. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't believe I'm saying this. I thought I was so fly one day. Like, I put on these brown cargo shorts. Oh my God, that sounds so disgusting. I put on these brown cargo shorts with this like plaid shirt that had like brown, blue, and white lines in it. And I had these like, nasty Air Force Ones. They were so nasty. No, they weren't, they were Nikes. And they were like, silver. They were sparkling silver. They were gross. I hope I can find a picture. Oh my God, if I find a picture, I'm literally gonna cry. But I wore these sparkling silver Nikes 
with these brown cargo pants, with this plaid shirt. I also wore this nasty belt. It was so gross. It was like this white belt that was dirty and I thought it was so cute. I thought I was just matching from head to toe and I just looked like a toe. Okay, so that's not the embarrassing part, although it kind of is. The embarrassing part was when I was standing in line for lunch and one of my friends, literally one of my friends, she had just gotten her lunch and was walking by me and I was still in line. And as she was walking away, she was talking to someone, one of her other friends and she was like, what in the world is Will wearing today? And I, died. I died in that moment and I think I went to heaven but then I came back and inhabited my body to finish out high school. But that was the most mortifying moment. Oh my god. And I never confronted her about it nor did she confront me about it. But I know I threw every single piece of that outfit like in the trash that night. Wow that was a terrifying time in my life. So what do you guys think about all this beauty guru like drama? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> Okay, I only said that because I'm contemplating titling this My Truth. Or like... <laughs> As you can see, we're going very fast. Um, at this point, we would absolutely be late for school, but it's okay. It is okay. All you have to do is like hire somebody that looks exactly like you, and then have them go to first period for you, and then you can do like the switcheroo, like at lunch, so. School hack. I do have a water bottle on deck because sometimes this hair be rough and you just need to like make it smooth. Ah, I got something in my eye. Isn't it crazy how we like graduate school just to go to more school? Like why not just like save space instead of making like a elementary school, a middle school, and then a high school, just have it all be one no, that's not a good idea. I guess it's all about the psychology of it, you know what I mean? It's like you graduate school and you feel like you're going to like another level. You're like leveling up. So it like keeps you in the game, even though everybody wants to get out of the game. Y'all, I'm just so obsessed with this gel. This is, oh, I'm so happy I found this. And it's so cheap, it's only $3, y'all. Like this is such an affordable get ready with me. It's just a $3 gel. Don't know how much this costs, but link will be below. Water, which I hope is free wherever you are, but if not, there's some cheap water out there on the shelf. And then the hair on your head is also free, so like, <laughs> okay, so this is what we have done, right? We applied the moisturizer, and then on top of that, we put the gel. And then we're gonna go back in at the end with water, okay? Just to loosen everything up. And then we just like smooth it off the roof, and it feels so good. The slip is amazing. Make sure it's all defined and detangled. And what you're gonna do now is actually just like pull it all the way back. Is that middle part not cute? Like what is happening up there? Let me go check real quick. Okay, so I went and fixed my middle part a little bit because she was just not doing well. But we're gonna pull this all the way back, nice and slick. Slick or sleek, whatever the right adjective is. That's why we're going to school, kids. And don't be like worried if there's like a little frizzies up there, you know what I mean? Make sure you have your, um, ah! ew. I hate when there's hair on the hairband. Anyway, that doesn't really matter. Make sure it's just all nice and sleek. You got all the hair in there. And then you're gonna just put this in a ponytail. <laughs> Boom, look at how nice that is. Like, it's so mediocre at best. Cute. Now let's just go ahead and do this other side. Again, we just go in with a little bit of water and then we go in with a little layer of I have so much hair everywhere. This is so gross. Um, I mean, <laughs> this is so fun. We're going back to school, yay. Just lightly add an extra coat just to seal everything in and then we're gonna go ahead and slope it back up into a ponytail. Just look it right on back, sis. Right back into a ponytail. Okay, so this one obviously started to dry up a little bit so this one looks a little bit longer but now that we have those two things in ponytails, it's time to like set it. You gotta make sure it's just laid down because obviously like we have some frizzies there, we have some frizzies there. So let's go ahead and put on our beautiful headscarf, okay? And you only need to put this on for like 10 minutes. You go like this, right? Boom. And then you gotta like flip your ponytails in the back over and then, um, uh, I don't think this is right. Oh wait, yes it is, it's right, we're good. And then you just like tie it, Ooh. and then you 
tie it. Okay, come on. Oh my God. I hate when the scarf things are uneven. Like this one's so much shorter than this one. And so the knot is like all the way over here. Anyway, we don't have time because we gotta go to school. We have to catch the bus. Fun fact, I lived for high school just under a mile away from my high school. And so I wasn't able to like take the bus because you had to live at least a mile away from school for you to like catch the bus. So they wouldn't let me catch the bus because they knew I lived like 9.9 .9 miles away. But anyway, you just sit and you let this set for like 10 minutes, okay? So, hmm, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna see y'all a, a little later, okay? <laughs> yeah. The diamond earring came up in the ocean and it's gone. And there's people that are dying. Ow. Uh. Ah! Hi. Now, I know a lot of you right now are on your keyboards going, Um, well, you don't even go here. You don't go to school. You graduated like three years ago. What? Hmm? Oh. Um, well, to that, I would say... Nothing. Fun fact, I really liked school. Like, I was so into school. I look so crazy right now. But I really liked school. School was actually really fun for me, only because I was really, like, I don't want to say good at it, but I really worked hard to be good at it. I made sure I got straight A's because I, I didn't like school, the social aspect of it, because it was just so like corny to me. Like everything was so corny. Everybody was trying to look like each other, trying to be like each other, but I was like trying to be on my own wave. I was trying to just million rock on my own block. I was just trying to do my own thing and be successful, but a lot of people were trying to make it cool to like fail at school. And I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I knew that school for me was one of the few options that I had in order to like make something out of myself. And so I made sure I made straight A's. I made sure I applied for scholarships so I can get to college. I made sure I did all of that with very few people's help, but a lot of people's support. Although, shout out to Miss Alba and Marion High School and everybody in that community. Oh, by the way, I went to Marion High School in South Carolina. If you went to Marion High School, comment down below. It was a real fun school. I had a lot of support from the community and from the school to like really do what I wanted to do. Cause I was like, I want to go to college. Like I really wanted to go to college and everybody saw that and they were just like, okay, well we support you. So shout out to Miss Shelly, Miss Davis, Miss Brandy Cook, the principal, everybody out there that really just gave me your full support. Cause look at me now. I get it! Anyway, like I was saying, I didn't really like the social aspect of school, but I did really like the academic aspect cause I felt like I was good at that. And it was something that I could escape into. But then I found some really cool, really dope friends who were also like on that same wave of just like grinding hard and being successful. So shout out to Miss Leo. Shout out to Aviana. Shout out to Angelica. All oh, y'all, I know there's a whole long list I could go through, but this ain't no award show. This ain't no award show. Well, I was in drama club. I was in interact club, if y'all know what that is. Beta club. I was sophomore vice president. And then the next year, I was student body vice president, which was a big deal. I was in symphonic band. I played the alto saxophone. I was in a whole bunch of stuff. It was real fun, real cute. Okay, what is this? And why do people continue to do it? I'm done, I have to go. I'm coming at y'all with so many hacks today. If you get like slimy neck, that sounds so gross. Slimy neck from your products, go ahead and get you like a napkin and just put it there, okay? Right in between your hair and your neck. <laughs> Okay, and it just like, it saves you a whole lot of trouble. You would think that it would fall off, okay? You know what I mean? Cause you gotta dodge the haters as you walk to school and stuff. You can even wear it to school, okay? Because it's also fashionable. But you would think that it would fall off, but it literally stays there because of the weight of your hair. So that's that. Um, oh, let's do like a back to school like playlist. Oh my God, that'd be so much fun. Okay, so listen, I have a few like songs that I really like, like this one. I love that song, especially when it goes. I just love it so much. I also like this song. <laughs> like you and everything I've ever wanted to be. <laughs> and you believe me. But I especially like this song. My neck, my back, lick my p <laughs> Okay, so it's been like 10 minutes. I'm kidding, I'm lying to you. It's been like an hour. But like that's, listen, that's not what we're here to talk about. Let's go ahead because this should be all set underneath. <sighs> Nice and sleek, sis. Yes. 
So you can see that this one's still longer than this one. This one's like almost fully dry. But this is the final look, guys. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> Okay, I know what you're thinking. I look like your third grade sister. Two low pigtails in the back, I get it. But listen, when you do it right, when you do it sleek, as an adult, you can pull it off. Also, if you wanna make it a little bit better, you can add these like gold clips just to the side right there. And you just, ah, uh, and you just, ah. Uh. Wait, does this look crazy? Let me look in the mirror first. This might look crazy, Oh. So I decided to give that a no. It just wasn't working. So just let's just forget I said that. Anyway, I think the style is cute. It keeps the hair off your way, but it also allows your curls to shine. It allows you to shine this year at school. Just look at them back there. They're just living their best lives, shaking and moving. Moving and shaking. Let me know if you love this style too. Let me know if you do this style. If you do, definitely tag me on Instagram. Also, follow me on Instagram at Will Not Willy. Okay, I can't do this anymore. This back to school persona is so hard to keep up and I'm like stressed out. That's the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, definitely go ahead and give it a big old thumbs up. And if you wanna stick around and be my friend and be my homie, go ahead and click that subscribe button. And don't forget to follow oh. me. Like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Just don't follow me in real life. And with that, <laughs> go have fun at school, kids. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.